In 2009, Marcus Pukkonen's life would change forever. His father, Eriki, would be diagnosed with leukemia and given just two weeks to live. Heavy news which would trigger something in Marcus. On my way back home to see him, I was thinking about uh, my own life and how short life can be. I thought I should figure out what I, what I want to do on this planet and pursue it. What would follow was a series of adventures over a six year period, culminating July 13, 2015, as Bukonen set out from Toronto on a journey around the world. An environmentalist at heart, Pukkonen is aiming to complete the entire five-year expedition without the use of fossil fuels, a challenging concept which is raising eyebrows along the way. Often it starts something like, wow, or you're crazy. It's definitely a lot for people to fathom because the vast majority of people don't even bike to work or don't even walk to work. They get in their cars every day and they can't imagine doing something like this. In total, the 80,000 kilometre journey known as Routes of Change will include various travel partners, span six continents and three oceans, the latter of which is nothing new for Pukkonen. 2013, he attempted to cross the Atlantic Ocean in a rowboat with three others, including Canadian Olympic gold medalist rower Adam Creek. After travelling 5,300 kilometres, the group would capsize en route from Senegal to Florida an experience he describes as both shocking and exciting, but surprisingly, it hasn't deterred him one bit. I've spent a lot of time on the ocean and um, I'm not going to be by myself. I'm going to be on a pretty uh, solid boat, so, and it's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be beautiful. To date, the Toronto native has used many forms of transportation, including a recumbent tricycle, kayak, skis, even a pogo stick, which he bounced along a 10 kilometre stretch through the streets of Winnipeg. I felt great, and I think part of the reason is because every hop, I, it made me smile. Uh, it was just, it was completely ridiculous and fun experience. Hiking, biking and skiing over the Canadian Rockies has put Pukkonen's mind and body to the test giving him a renewed appreciation for the finer things in life. All those little small creature comforts that people take for granted are that much better for me. <laughs> you know, like a, a shower every night is, you know, it's something that most people take for granted, but when I find one, it's, it's lovely. While in Cranbrook, Pukkonen would stay with teacher Lee Cormier, who knows firsthand the impact hospitality can have when you're on the road. In 2008, I went to New Zealand and my friend Jesse and I like to call people who took us in under their wings travel angels. It seems like adventure is deep in his bones. And uh, yeah, it was a delightful chance to hear stories and you know, reminisce about my own days of traveling. During his stay, Pukkonen would also speak with some of Cormier's students. He had quite an effect on the students. They're, you know, they're in grade 12 and they're looking towards their own path and, you know, not just what they're going to do, but who they're going to be in the world and what kind of change they want to make. Small changes can have big effect and we should be doing everything we possibly can to make sure that we have a healthy future for our children and our grandchildren. As he travels the globe sharing that very message, Pukkonen says he couldn't be happier. I'm doing exactly what I want to be doing on the planet right now. The one thing that I think could potentially put some doubts in my mind is if I fall in love. So I don't want to pass up the love of my life because I'm too stubborn on this journey, but hopefully I can convince her to come with me. No update on Pukkonen's love life yet. However, you can follow his journey by visiting rootsofchange.org. That's R-O-U-T-E-S of change.org. For Go in Cranbrook, I'm James Farnan.